testing today. 15 and 15. Bunch of multi blocks. So I'm not sure which all ones we're going to be able to get tested today, but we're going to work on them and see what we can do. I'll have the electrolyzer from 14 that needs to get done, and I think we can do that today. Go ahead and start looking at added. Fix mind tweaker. Uh, couldn't manipulate loot tables. Chest replacer. Change the shredder recipes for material. Order can handle are now 16 times. <coughs> Which I did notice this week. That Shredder definitely seemed to be going things a lot faster than it was. Uh, let's see. Change multi-block mixer and centrifuge powered from the top. I didn't realize we didn't have a thing on there. There. Hold on a second. I don't know why the mic's cutting out. It shouldn't be. It's in the same place it was before. Oh, it was turned the wrong direction. There. Now maybe it won't be cutting out. Alright, so we got these done. Alright, so... Mixer and centrifuge can now be powered from the top center position to note that the top center is now also power only and won't accept items or fluids. So for the centrifuge and the mixer, the top center is power only now. So no trying to stick fluids and stuff in there. Uh, let's see. He added the Invar tank drums and large boiler, which I've already been using. Because I have the uh, two of the Invar tanks right over there. They are the same as the stainless steel. They just do not have um, acid resistance. Alright, so let's look this up here. Var. So there is the drum, 6400, same as the stainless steel. 
and then the tank invar wall dense invar wall small invar tank main valve dense invar main valve um, this one melts down at 1916 where the stainless is 1943 so it's a little bit lower temperature yes shadow that's mostly what I'm doing until I actually get to the actual work here in a little bit shut up all right so and then there's also the large boiler as well which is the barometer I need if I can find it in here Invar boiler main barometer there it is so there's the Invar boiler uh, let me look and see here let's see 8192 okay so it is identical to the stainless steel one for the amount of energy it takes and makes so that's nice all right so let's see what we have next um same stats as stainless steel ones but no acid proof less reason to complain about stainless steel being used everywhere yeah less reason but it's still used everywhere greg uh let's see a uh, large electric oven made of 18 invar walls and eight nichrome coil blocks in a sandwich shape hollow three by three can run up to 64 recipes in parallel so at its max input of 4096 eu a tick it can only do four recipes per tick overall 80 smelts per second so the 64 is more for performance like in other machines it has a 75 percent penalty to efficiency due to the 50 percent of eu to heat conversion and the 50 percent i put on most processing multi-blocks as offset to the lack of overclocking penalties so half as efficient as a regular HU powered oven when used with electricity all right so let's look this bad boy up we'll probably start with making it uh, let's just do oven we're gonna have to start with the Main block, large electric oven. There we go. So it's going to be dense invar plate, one of the Ruby processors, an invar wall, and a T6 circuit. So you're going to need five T6 circuits to make that. And let's see what we need for the coils here. How much nichrome we're going to need. Uh, large nichrome coil. 4X nichrome wires. So each one of them is going to be 16 nichrome. And it's hollow. So we're going to have 8 of those. So 8 times 16. <clears throat> so two stacks of nichrome is going to be needed. So one stack of nickel and one stack of chromium. So let's go ahead and get that in the belcher and get it started. For some people, I'm sure they have plenty of nichrome sitting around. 
first start making stainless steel and ultimate making nichrome is quite easy. Alright, so we'll get that stuff started and let them start running. And we'll have to make the invar next. I'm going to try to go through most of the uh, changes at the very beginning. And then I'll start building and testing everything as I can after that. Alright, so next was the multi-block bathing vat, which is a 5x5x2 five by five by box of total volume. Process up to 64 bathing recipes at once. Out increasing the all so it acts like 64 baths working in parallel. That would be nice for tungsten processes. Because that bathing recipe takes a little while for the uh, hydrochloric acid bath part. Um, it's not powered, so no overclocking penalties. Or input stats. Ah, I think my mic keeps turning for some reason. I don't have a mic stand right now. So things might be a little wonky today, unfortunately. Alright, so let's look up the VAT. I might actually be able to get that one done now. Large baiting vat. Oh no, it's going to take two MV arms. So that's going to be a little bit of work. Stainless steel wall, dense stainless steel plates. Go ahead and get them in and get them started. And let me see if Theosis can make those uh, I don't have a headset anymore. I'm now using a regular mic. And the mic stand that came with it doesn't work on the desk I have. So Junior's going to go get me a um, stand mic. So whenever I turn my head, I'm not talking right at the mic anymore. And it's, that's probably why it's going down because it's not right in front of me. I don't know why he's a badger or when he changed to a badger. Do I have Lego? I haven't had Legos in years. I gave all my Legos to Junior and who knows what he ever did with them. And he forgot to put on his rubber ducky suit. <coughs> nice job, Theosis. Alright, so the bathing vat. We're going to get started on it. Um, let me tell him that I made the... Ruby processor things. Uh, 
us need the housings. There we go. Make a mic stand out of Lego then. Well, Junior's going to the uh, music store in town and see if he can get one there. Pretty cheap, hopefully. And then the last thing he added last week was the multi-block coagulator array. Size is 5x5x2. Five by five by 50 blocks total volume, just like the bath. Uh, process 64 coagulations. It doesn't take power, so there's no overclocking penalty or input stats. So same thing, just for coagulating things. So you can make all the damn cheese or all the damn rubber. So it takes two T6 circuits, the processor, stainless wall, and dense. So let me get... That's actually going to take five of them. So... 54... Get them in and get them started. <coughs> Which we're going to need a lot of circuits. Does he have any circuit boards over here? Uh, he's got 59. That's a decent start. I see he's got this other one over here, so. There's 16. Hopefully that'll be enough. Um. Hit. Oh. Alright, so that was last week's update. That is 10.15, or 6.10.15. Now for this week, um, it says textures for new stuff are currently not done yet. Because of that, and because Bear needs time to test, this will be on Friday. So, yes, I'm probably going to be making this stuff over the next two days. Um, and he needs to get the textures done. Uh, let's see. So, the multi ingot to plate, foil. Item casing, small spring, and ring recipes in the anvil now output scraps in order to be less wasteful. Alright, so let's see. Uh, what do I want to waste a little bit of? Got any ingots in here? I'm trying to think of what. Let's do a copper plate. If I take these, them on there, hammer that, that on there, hammer that, I get the copper plate. And nine scraps, so that is much better. Um, why does this thing keep hanging up? It should have more than a big enough freaking pipe there to handle that shit. All right. I still got that damn scrap in my inventory. Try putting the mic stand somewhere else besides your desk. I don't have anywhere else to put it. It's one of those clamp on mic stands. And I don't have anywhere else to clamp it. We've looked all over trying to think of somewhere to put it.
All right, so let's see. Added configs to make machines just break instead of explode. What is he doing? Eating the hell out of a drawer, apparently. Uh, where was I? Um, oh yeah. Make machines break instead of explode when overcharged and getting in contact with weather. Boilers still explode, though. And then he added the three new multi-blocks for this week, which is a multi-block sluice. This is one that's going to take me a little while to make, because I need to get the uh, titanium setup made to do this. So you have your sluice part, which is 32 titanium. And you have your large sluice, which is one processor, the T6 circuit, titanium rods, titanium gears, and a titanium wall. And it is made mostly out of titanium. It's a 3x7x3 three by by three in size. Can process 64 of a recipe in parallel. Powered by RU with 50% efficiency, though of course no overclocking penalty. Then you have the multi block. Now, on this one, he doesn't actually. Oh, here's where it says it. So it's two 3x7 layers of titanium walls, 3x7 layer of sluice parts on top of that main block centered on slim side bottom and facing outwards input only at the top of the far side output only at the bottom of the close side and energy goes in Bottom, top, left, right, or back? Huh. So it doesn't have a dedicated spot that you put power, or it has a dedicated spot on every face of it, apparently. So that'll be a fun one to check out when we build it. Then we have the multi-block crusher. And this has crusher wheels and the large crusher body itself. Crusher wheels are robust tungsten steel machine casing and four gears with four diamonds. <coughs> and then the large crusher itself is three small gears, three large gears, a tungsten steel wall, the processor and another circuit but you got to make a five by five by three basin of tungsten steel walls and then fill that with those crusher wheels so you're going to have 18 of these crusher wheels inside of there so you're going to need 72 diamonds we figured to make this thing i need to drink and get this shit off of my screen Not that I know of, Shadow. I don't think I have any of those TV tray things. Energy has a dedicated spot that is visible. Okay. But it is on all four 
sides or all six sides or at least that's what the tooltip says damn it now I got that well-fed thing in my damn face and I can't see main block gets centered on side bottom and facing outwards input only at crusher wheels output at bottom layer and this powers bottom top left front right and back as well I don't know why it says fluids in and fluids out because it's a crusher there is no fluids unless you actually made a fluid for it hey creeper hi Lorenus alright and then the last one is the shredder so it has shredder blades which needs diamond plates tungsten steel gears and robust tungsten steel machine casing and then the main housing is basically the same as the crusher three small gears three large gears the ruby processor tungsten steel wall and t6 circuit this thing is a 5x5x3 five by five by basin of 57 tungsten steel walls 3x3x2 three by three by filled with shredder blades so you're going to need 18 times 2 so you're going to need 36 diamonds for that so we're going to need over 100 diamonds to do this 108 I think to build these two multi blocks damn that's a lot of damn diamonds Main block centered on side bottom and facing outwards. Input only at shredder blades. Output at bottom layer. 64 processing per run. Can be overclocked without additional energy cost as usual. RU goes in all six sides at the dedicated spot. Items and fluids both go in the top. Items come out the bottom automatically or can come out the left, front, right, or back. <coughs> well, that should make uh, the fact that it's got multiple places it can output will make uh, E happy because he's always complaining about the fact that he doesn't like Greg's machines being forcing him to input and output on a certain spot. He likes GT5 better where he can choose where to do that. He feels like he's pay playing by Greg's rules this way. And then his machines and GT classics is uh, having the same thing. I think it's funny as hell. All right. So that is the update for today. So now I've got a whole bunch of stuff to get made. I am going to take another little bit of a break while me and Theosa start putting everything together. And then I will come back and... Uh, go testing and setting up each one as we get them done otherwise I'm gonna be here all frickin day and with my internet I don't want to try that like we did for the uh, turbine so while we start getting this crap together I am going to end and I will see you guys in a little while Yes, Greg, I will let you know when I'm ready to test each one.
And yes, I'm going to have to go mine up that diamond vein that's below spawn. So that's your testing update will be out tomorrow and I will be testing off and on all day. So if you want to see us test them, keep an eye out for your notifications. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you guys in a bit.